In this video, you will learn how to make a LoRaWiS two-way wireless communication system with Arduino. This is a complete two-way communication system based on the Arduino and the most powerful and popular 433 MHz SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules. In my previous project, I had used SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules and I explained some basic things including the SX1278 LoRa module pinout, technical specifications, and its interfacing with the Arduino. I also interfaced the ESP8266 module to the receiver in and uploaded data to Blink IoT Cloud. It was a LoRa based wireless one way sensor monitoring and automation system. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make a wireless two-way communication system using Arduino and SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules. I am using Arduino and ESP8266 module, but you can use any Arduinos on both nodes. The DST double to temperature and humidity sensor at 16 x 2 I2C LCD display are connected to the Arduino node. While to the ESP8266 node or DS18V20 temperature sensor and 0.96 inch I2C OLED display are connected. The parameters of the DST double to sensor temperature and humidity are sent from the Arduino node to the ESP8266 node and are displayed on an OLED display. The DS18V20 temperature sensor data from ESP8266 node is sent to the Arduino node and is displayed on a 16 cross 2 LCD display. I hope you understand what we are trying to do in this project. So, without further delay, let's get started. For the LoRa Base 2 a wireless communication system, we need Arduino Nano, LoRa SX1278 transceiver modules, DST double to temperature and humidity sensor, 16 cross 2 I2C LCD display. DS18V20 temperature sensor, 0.96 inch OLED display, Arduino SX1278 LoRa node circuit. This is the circuit diagram of the Arduino node. The connection of the SX1278 LoRa module, DST22, and 16 cross 2 I2C LCD remains exactly as shown here. VCC of the LoRa module is connected with the 3.3V of the Arduino. Yamayoso pin of the LoRa module is connected with Arduino's pin 12. Yamayoso pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 11. YSCK pin of the LoRa module is connected with Arduino's pin 13. YNSS pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 10. And the ground pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's GND. Out pin of the DST double two sensor is connected to the D5 pin of the Arduino, whereas VCC and GND are connected to 3.3 volt and GND pins of Arduino respectively. 16 cross 2 LCD needs 5 volt supply, so GND and VCC are connected to 5 volt pin and GND pin of Arduino. I2C pins SCL and STA are also connected to Arduino's I2C pins A5 and A4 respectively. This is the circuit diagram of the ESP8266 node. The VCC of the ASX1278 LoRa module is connected with the 3.3V of the node MCU. Yamayasu pin of the LoRa module is connected with the node MCU pin D6. Yamayasai pin is connected with the node MCU pin D7. ESCK pin of the LoRa module is connected with node MCU pin D5. NSS pin is connected with pin D8. And the ground pin of the LoRa module is connected with the node MCU GND. The VCC and GND pins of the SST 1306 OLED display module are connected with the node MCU 3.3 volt and GND pins. STA and SCL pins of the OLED display module are connected with the node MCU I2C pins D1 and D2. DS18V20 temperature sensor requires a 5V supply, so the VCC pin is connected to the VIN pin of node MCU. Data pin and GND are connected to D4 and GND pins respectively. 4.7K ohm pull up register is used in between the VCC and data pin of the DS18V20 sensor. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram. So, the node to which the DST double to sensor and 16 cross 2 LCD module are connected is the Arduino node. 
and the node to which the DS 18V20 and OLED display module are connected in the ESP8266 node. You can simply assemble the circuit on a breadboard. But to remove messy wiring and give a clean look, I designed a PCB prototype for this project. It is also helpful for troubleshooting without any errors. You can download the Gerber file of my PCB design from the link attached. You can simply download the Gerber file and order your custom PCB from PCBWay. Visit the PCBWay official website by clicking here. Simply upload your Gerber file to the website from the Instant Code tab and place in Order. I prefer PCBWay for ordering custom PCBs because PCBWay is a place that brings manufacturer and customers together. They have more than a decade of experience in this field of fabrication, prototyping, and assembling PCBs. PCBWay has proved their focus to their customers' need in terms of cost effectiveness, delivery, and quality. And this can be proved by their outstanding customer reviews. Before you start programming, first of all, make sure you download and install all the necessary library files. As you can see, both the programs are almost identical. The sending and receiving codes on both the sides are exactly the same. There are just a few changes. As you can see, the Arduino node has the DST22 and 16 cross 2 LCD, while the ESP8266 node has the DS18V20 temperature sensor and also an OLED display module. I have already explained maximum line of course by commenting on course. If you have followed my previous video, you can easily understand how the code is programmed. First, copy the program code from our website link and paste it on your Arduino IDE. Now, select your correct board and its COM port from the tools menu. Now, opt on to your respective Arduino boards. After a successful upload of program code, open the serial monitor of both nodes at the baud rate of 115200. You can see the live data sent and received by the LoRa module. As we have connected displays to both nodes to monitor those data wirelessly using LoRa modules. You can monitor DS18V20 temperature data on the Arduino node connected with the 16 cross 2 LCD display. Whereas, you can monitor DST22 temperature and humidity data on an ESP8266 node connected with an OLED display. So, this is a complete two-way wireless communication system using LoRa ESX1278 module and Arduino. I hope the tutorial was helpful for you. If it was helpful for you, hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to us. In upcoming projects, I will make a network in which the master node will request data from the multiple slave nodes. Till then, it's me Asika signing off for today. Catch you soon on the next one. Stay safe, stay happy.